Now we'll add some annotations in the CDS view. So first we'll add the UI annotations to display the default columns when we'll generate, when we create the query list report. For that, select the annotations, I get assign UI dot line item. Okay, and inside this, we have to give position for all the columns. For example, I want to display this column at the first position. So I will write here position 10. Then for second column, I will add as 20. Like this, add the column position for all the columns which we want to directly bring on the screen when we'll run the URL for Fury list report app. Okay, so like this here, I have added five annotations for number of columns. Second annotations I will add for the search field so that on the list report app, we can get some search field on the filter tab. Okay, so for that, at the annotations at a direct sign search search dot searchable equal to true. Okay, after that, at the initial column level, we also need to add some annotation that is search that default search element equals to true. This one search dot default search element equal to true. After typing some two three words, press control plus space, they will get this list and double click here. Okay, then next we have to add the position of the field. So for that, add annotation UI dot selection field. And here, again, to the position where we want this search field to be appear on the screen, on the web page. So then, so what I want, I want search field for Say for a number. Second example, I want search field for ER date. And third and last, I want search field for this customer ID, Kunal. Okay. So what I would done, save, check, and activate. So what I would done, first, I have added UI annotations for the column position. And then I uh, enable the searchable equal to true. And then we have added three columns into the search field. This is 20 and this is 30. Activate. Now our CTS view is ready with the annotations and we have already created a OETA service for this. So next we'll create a Fury list application using the CTS view in the business application studio.